Hi guys, this is Yongnin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm actually going to talk about how to actually get Nani completed, right? With just 1.2k coins. Not just that, you can actually, right, even make coins of this method. Which are the best SBCs to do, given that we have so many right now. I'm going to talk about also, right, what are some of the content, right, we can expect to see later on today. Now, let's move on, right, and talk about the 85 by 10, right? We saw it return yesterday, which was not really a surprising thing, right, because... You know, this is the menu grind right now. The requirements this time, like I mentioned yesterday, is probably going to be one squad, 88 rated squad, one team of the week, and one thoughts. As you guys can see right here, right, I've actually put in a moment, and you guys can see that it actually counts. So my guess is probably, right, it's just a visual glitch right now. And I think EA wants to allow us to use moments because that can actually, right, control the rise of the prices on your team of the weeks and your thoughts. So... If you can, right, go ahead and use moments because moments right now, right, they're only at about 22k. Your thoughts and team of the week, right, are way more expensive. You save about 3k by just using moments. Now, the significance of it being one squad means that it's actually, you know, re kind of recyclable for this pack. What you do is you open up the 85 by 10, you get a moments off the market. Chuck it right back into this SBC and you're good to go. So it's basically, right, unlimited amount of recycling. Like I mentioned, it is fantastic. Now what happens, right, when, you know, moments are actually able to be used in this SBC itself, right? It's the fact that your moments, right, they actually flew up in price like crazy. Yesterday, right, they were at about, I believe, um, 11 to 12k before content drop. And right now they're all the way up at about 22k, right, almost doubling in price. So our moment trading method is back. So what you want to be doing is, right, an hour and 10 minutes after content drop, right, go and bid on your moments because they're actually in demand for these SBCs. How much to bid on them for? If they're selling for 22k, right, then for sure you want to be bidding at about 17k maximum, right? That's the absolute maximum. You make about 4k profit per cut when you actually sell them off for about 22k. So bid at 17k, sell at 22k. So just make sure to check that your moment selling prices, right, are still around 22k, right, before actually going through with this method at content drop. So another thing is, of course, hopefully, right, EA doesn't remove uh, moments that we can use right now, right, in our 84 by 10 and 85 by 10. So this method will work really, really well. Now, you heard me mention the 84 by 10. It also came back yesterday as well. And um, it's actually cheaper, right, than your 85 by 10. Let's take a look at the requirements. Same thing, it's just one squad. Again, an 87 rated squad with one team of the week and one toss. And again, you know, it's a visual glitch, I believe. You can also use moments in this SBC, right? So the question would be, right, Max, is the 84 by 10 better or is the 85 by 10 better? For sure, I would say that the 85 by 10 is better, even though it's actually about 25k more expensive. I'll just complete this SBC, do this five times a day, and then when it runs out, you can go for your 84 by 10. Why? Because I think that, you know, um, it being only 25k more expensive, right? It's fine because this actually gives you a higher chance of packing footies player, which at the end of the day, right, is what doing this um, upgrade is all about, right? Packing that footies player. So you, of course, want to do something that gives you the highest chances of packing your footies player. We also gotten a 81 plus player pick. I don't really like the value on this one because it's 5 gold rares and 6 gold commons. Not exactly worth it, right? Considering that you're exchanging 11 players for 1 player because we have a way superior SBC, right? This SBC, this footies crafting upgrade, I think it's kind of like the best upgrade pack that we have, right? In this game, you know, right now. What you do is you submit 11 gold common players, right? And exchange, you get back 3 players. So in terms of number of players, this is definitely way better. Not to mention the fact that this is actually cheaper because you can submit 11 gold commons, right? Instead of having to submit 5 gold rares and 11 gold commons in your 81 plus player pick. So the pack weight on your 80 plus 3, right? Also means that it's better for you to craft your SBCs, right? Think about it. When you craft your 85 by 10, right? What are the ratings that you need to purchase off the market? It's usually your 82s and 83s. Right, and then this SBC right actually gives you lots of 82s and 83s. So instead of purchasing it off the market, you know why not just do this and then put the 82s and 83s right into your 85 by 10. So to even make it more worthwhile, right, to actually do your footies crafting upgrade instead of your 81 plus player pick, right, we also get a uh, crafting objective, a five star, five star nani. 
Now the great thing about this card is the fact that it can start as a cam because right now we have too many left wingers. Not to mention the fact that he is actually also premium for this, right? Which means that he gets full cam. Fantastic card overall, right? And all you have to do, right, basically, right, is to complete the footies crafting upgrade, right, thirty five times. To be frank, right, even if there wasn't this objective right here, right, I would still be doing your footies crafting upgrade over your eighty one plus player pick sim simply because of, in terms of the value itself, is way superior. And you get a free Nani, not to mention all your free fodder packs, which will actually come in really, really handy, right? With all the SBCs that we have out right now. So, quite simply, right, this is a huge W from EA, and I will basically, right, go and craft your footies crafting upgrade, right? I'll do it a lot of times. So, what this did, right, also is the fact that um, it makes the menu grind, right, easier in a way. We have actually also gotten a fantastic daily goal upgrade. So what you have to do is you just have to turn in right six bronze and five silvers. And in return, right, you get 11 gold commons and one rare gold. So again, this is definitely right a better upgrade pack than your ultimate silver upgrade pack. The one whereby you submit 11 silvers for eight gold common players. So this is definitely way better. I would say just do this, right? You can do this 10 times every single day. Please go and max this out because this is fantastic value for us right now. And you basically want to be getting right all your goals for your footies crafting upgrade or even getting fodder itself. Now, um, let's talk about how right how do we actually right complete Nani right with just 1.2k coins. So what you want to be doing is the first thing you want to be doing right just go and get on bid for your bronze players at 150 coins each. So you basically bid on three. After that, go and complete your daily bronze upgrade. The one whereby you need to submit um, three bronze players and you can only do it three times. I've actually already completed it, so um, I can't demonstrate to you guys. Let me show you guys the SBC first. So put your three bronze common players that you're building on into this SBC. So go ahead and open this pack up. So after you have opened this pack up, you will be able to do the remaining two times of this SBC, right? With that pack that you have opened. So go ahead and complete this. Next step, you want to be going to the market again to go and bid for silver players. Bid for them at 150 coins, right? You'll be able to win them very, very easily. Again, bid on three of them. So after you have completed, you have gotten your silver common players, right? Go and do your daily silver upgrade. So again, same thing, right? You need, just need to submit three silver players inside this SBC and then you'll get your silver upgrade pack. So once you have completed that, go and rip open your silver upgrade pack and then use the remaining cards to complete this SBC two more times. So open up the packs. Right now, after opening, you know, these packs in totals, right, six times in total, right, you'll now have 60, 66 bronze and 66 silvers. What you want to be doing, right, is chucking all of these cards that you have, right, into your daily go upgrade right because this sbc right now right they take in both bronze and silver players do this for 10 times all right so once you have completed this um you can actually right go and do your footies crafting upgrade after you have opened these packs right go and do your footies crafting upgrade and then open these packs up after you get all your fodder you will actually want to use that right to go and craft your tradable team of the week packs you can actually do this right two times. So right now, your team of the weeks, your discard team of the weeks are actually selling for 25k. So let's say you pack a discard team of the week, right? You're unlucky, right? You can actually get 50k, right? Because you get two. So if you get higher weighted ones, like, you know, your 89 and higher, right? You can possibly make about 28k per card. So that actually increases your profit margin. So this whole trading method that I'm showing you right now, right? Can be done by just using 1.2k coins. You get Nani, free fodder packs, not to mention the fact that you actually make, right, 50k of this trading method or of this SBC crafting method. So I hope you guys actually enjoy that method. If you actually hit 30 likes on this video, right, I'll teach you guys another method of crafting all these SBCs, right, in tomorrow's video. So hit that like button if you actually want to see that, um, that video out tomorrow, the another crafting method. Now let's talk about 
how the 85 by 10 right being repeatable five times right actually affects the market so the more times that the 85 by 10 can be repeatable right the more your market will be hit especially for your you know your easier cuts to pack from your footies if we take a look at somebody like o black he went from about 123k right all the way down to about 100k before rebounding back up a little bit not just him right your footies graven birch he went from about 110k right all the way down to about you know 96k or so that's actually not a very huge drop but it's still a drop even your higher rated or your mid tier cards di natale he went from about 920k all the way down to about 800k which is his current price right now so if we actually also take a look you know at somebody like coutinho right how much was he he was actually at about 235k he went all the way down to about 215k and people realized that the 85 by 10 right can be completed five times instead of three and also you know if we take a look at somebody like klaus as well right he also went down also he went from about 220k right all the way up to about 196 or 97k so again the more times this SBC gets done, right, as we move later and later on to the week, right, these cards impacts will all keep dropping. And not just them, right, even your other cards, there are actually impacts right now, like your team of the year, Benzema, or your team of the year, Lionel Messi, right, they will continuously, right, slowly, slowly slide down in price, slowly and surely, because more and more people are actually packing them from the 85 by 10, right, they're actually doing every single day for five times right it's just the law of averages so if i were you guys anything that is in packs right now i would just play them and then once i'm done with them i will actually sell them off right to actually minimize my loss so ea has tweeted out yesterday right that they have upgraded javi siemens weak foot so he has been actually upgraded from four star to five star now of course we don't have any idea about this at all right and it also makes me wonder, right, how is it that they actually take like four days to rectify this mistake given that right now, right, it's actually Tuesday. I have no idea. What this did was definitely it affected the prices of um, Javi Siemens, made him go right up. He went from about 110k, 115k, all the way up to about 150k. So because he got a weak foot upgrade, right, he's now 5'5". Five five. He looks absolutely fantastic. But would I play him as a winger? Most probably not. If you take a look at his work rate, it's actually very odd for a winger, medium high. This kind of work rate, it's actually more um, suited for a CDM. So when I look at him, right, his defending stats, right, it actually looks um, pretty good. You can possibly, right, try him out as a box-to-box -box midfielder. I think, he, no, he's probably very similar to somebody like Kante, given he's only five foot six. He's probably, you know, very lean and agile and possibly very, very good at jogging. So... My guess is he's probably going to play way better, right, as a central midfielder. That is where you can be looking to play him at. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is your footies voting. So right now, right, your footies players voting, right, are all done on um, EA's um, IG stories. So this was actually posted yesterday asking, you know, which stats do you like to be see upgraded for a central midfielder? For me, it's clear, definitely passing. So our next... Player SBC, right, would definitely be a central midfielder. So if you have any central midfielders tradable in your club right now, I would just sell. Because if this SBC is meta and cheap, your central midfielders are going to crash in price. So yeah, let's see which kind of players, right, they are actually going to bring out later on today for the central midfielders. And we also have confirmation that Cheshenko, right, is coming as the next cover star icon because of the objective itself. So... I have no doubt that this will be the best version of Shashenko we ever had, given you know how EA has used Alonso, Real Costa, and Wayne Rooney. My guess is we're probably gonna get like a 5-4 or 4-5 Shashenko, which will make him very, very usable in-game. And if you guys actually go and take a look at his previous versions, right? His best version, prime versions, right? He actually has high high work rate. So high high work rate is not that ideal for a striker. I would say that high high work rate actually works pretty well for a camp, but not a striker. So hopefully they change him to high medium, right? We shall see. So what others? So what are some of the other content, right? That we should be expecting to see later on today, right? We know for a fact that your eighty-seven plus player pick it's actually right going away later on today. So again, the requirements: eighty-two rated squad with one team of the week and one thoughts. So I expect to see this player pick right refreshing later on today um 
what about some of the other things? Can we possibly right see the 83 by 100 right? The 83 by 100 right now right is still currently missing. I wouldn't be surprised if we see that. But my guess is most likely your 83 by 100 right will probably come after this 82 by 100 actually expires. Let's talk about you know what should we be investing in right? To know what to invest in, let's take a look at what are some of the cards that actually did very well yesterday. So these are all from the members in the Discord. We were actually selling your Discard Team of the Weeks, right? At 28k. We bought them for 20k in yesterday's video. So that is 6.6k profit, right? Per cut after tax. So right now, your Team of the Weeks, right? Your Discard Team of the Weeks, right? They are actually back down at about 25k. So can you invest in them? I would say as an investment, probably not. But in terms of quick flips, right? I think that this this is actually a very good method right now to make some quick and easy coins. So go and get so go and get them on bid, right? At um 20k and then basically right sell them right back at 25k. So this will work very, very well, right? An hour and 10 minutes after content drop, right? Just some quick flips. And then your 88 team of the weeks, right? We were actually selling them at about 32k. This is again from another member in the Discord. And we're buying them at 25k. So that is 5.4k profit per cut. So right now, they are actually back down again at about 20, um, 28k. So again, I see it being a very good opportunity, right? For you guys to actually pick up your 88 rated team of the weeks. So console players, right? Your 88 rated team of the weeks, right? 28k max, right? 28k max and 26k on bid. Maybe right now they're actually slightly up. Let me actually take a look. Can I actually find 88 David? Yep. So 28k max for console players, 26k on bid. PC players, right? 27k max, 25k on bid. Then our thoughts yesterday, they were actually selling at 40k as you guys can see. And how much did we buy them for? We bought them for around 30k. So that is 8k profit per card. So if you guys actually want to make coins on the channel, very easy. Watch the YouTube video for the buy prices, join the Discord for the sell prices, and you make quick and easy coins. So do remember to do a short self intro in the Discord itself, and then you'll be able to be verified and view all the rest of the channels itself. So go back to going back to Tots itself, right now they're actually back down at about 36.5k. So I think 36.5k is a very good price for your Tots. So console players, right, you can pick your um, tots up at 36.5k Have they went up a little bit? Let me see, 37.5k Right, so you can actually get them, right? Console players, 37k max, 35k on bid For PC players, right? They actually went up from about 23k yesterday All the way up to about 31k So I already told you guys, right? It's even better for your PC players to invest in your tots Because they were actually very, very low And lo and behold, they went up PC players, 30k max, 28k on bid for your tots now let's move on, right, and talk about your go rare investments. So for your go rare investments, right, most definitely your 82s look good, right? Console players, 1.2k max, 900 coins on bid. PC players, right, 900 coins max, 800 coins on bid. Your 83s. Console players, right, 1.7k max, 1.4k on bid. PC players, 1.6k max, 1.3k on bid. Your 84s. Console players, right, 2.9k max, 2.6k on bid. PC players, 2.6k max, 2.3k on bid. So they have been killing it for us, right? All these ratings for the past, I would say, two weeks. So we should continue to invest in them. Now, if you guys actually have Amazon Prime and you actually want to get free packs, all you have to do is link your Amazon Prime account to your EA Sports account. I'll leave the link down below as to how to do it. And of course, if you actually love and enjoy the content, on my channel, across all the platforms, whether is it on YouTube, Twitch, or Discord, you can sub to me for free on Twitch. We have Amazon Prime. Right? It'll mean a lot to me because I'm actually working really, really hard, right, to find out all the ways for you guys on how to best craft the SBCs, you know, how best to make coins, right? It actually mean a lot to me. All the links will be down in the description below. And of course, right, to actually take a look and see how good the pack weight is from your 85 by 10, right? So let's just open up one and see whether we have the luck, right, to pack any footies. The store has been pretty laggy, right? I no idea why. It's taken me a while. And then possibly, hopefully we get the footies. And then if not, some higher rated cut so that we can rinse and repeat this SBC quite easily. Okay. Uh, okay.
Hopefully we get something good behind, right? Come on, give, give us something good, man. If not, just give me a team of the week so that I don't have to put in a thoughts mode. Hey, ask and you shall receive. We got a team of the week. So that's all from me, right? If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see how best to actually craft SBCs in tomorrow's video, I have another method to share with you guys. Once it hits 30 likes, right, I'll do that for tomorrow's video. And of course, if you enjoy the content on the channel, how to trade, right? how to best craft SBCs, all the good stuff on the channel, hit that sub button. We are less than um, 70 subs away right, from that big 1k mark. right? Thank you guys so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And let's go and hit that 1k mark. And I'm out. All right. Take care, guys.